Welcome to this video on uh, exporting from Expense Tracker, Biz Expense Tracker, Mile Tracker, or Time Tracker. Now, exporting allows you to send your reports and any photo receipts that you've taken and send them directly to your Mac or your PC computer. We have two methods in which we allow you to export. One is through Sync Docs. That's not to be confused with our device sync feature. Sync Docs is a, um, is a service which allows you to send files wire, wirelessly uh, through your Wi-Fi network uh, to your Mac or your PC directly. Now we do have a help page on Sync Docs. Um, it's at silverwaresoftware.com slash syncdocs.html or better yet just go to our website silverwaresoftware.com go to the support page and you'll see a link for the Sync Docs service. Now, Sync Docs is a Java applet that you run on your Mac or PC. It runs, it, it sits there, and then it just waits to accept files. The requirement is, is that you have a Wi-Fi network, and also that your, your uh, device, your iPad or your iPhone, is connected to that wireless network through, uh, through Wi-Fi, of course, and also that your laptop or your computer is connected to that same Wi-Fi network. It requires that it's connected through the Wi-Fi network wirelessly, not through some Ethernet hardwired connection. So you, they both have to be connected via Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at, um, at uh, exporting. Now, why would you want to use exporting? Well, for several different reasons. Uh, exporting allows you to send your files uh, immediately to your computer. And the second thing is, is that it has no limit. Uh, email, if you watched the previous video, email does have a limit. Um, if, you, if your report and all your photos are greater than 20 megabytes, the email is not going to get sent. And that's a limitation of the email service. All the email services have set this uh, max up so that um, don't bog down the emails. So um, if you've got a report with many, many photos and it's uh, greater than 20 megabytes and you're having problems sending it via email, then exporting is your solution. I said you can use Sync Docs. Um, I forgot to say that the second option is using Dropbox. Dropbox is a third-party service that uses Wi-Fi or um, your carrier network on your on your uh, iPhone or iPad to send files uh, wirelessly uh, to your to your Dropbox account, and hence those files are then mirrored on your Mac or PC so that you have instant access. Um, I highly recommend Dropbox. Depending on which app you've purchased, um, you will need to either purchase an additional add-on for Dropbox, um, or may maybe not, but um, I highly recommend Dropbox. You can create a free Dropbox account at www.dropbox.com. Investigate it. The reason I recommend it is because the features um, that you, you're going to gain from using Dropbox go way beyond uh, the use of just our app. Um, and plus, it's very easy to use, very reliable, and um, it's, uh, it's a very nice service. So let's start with Sync Docs, the first method in which to export. Um, you need to run the Sync Docs applet. I just launched, uh, I just opened up a folder with the Sync Docs applet in it. I'm running Mac Lion. If you're running Mountain Lion and try to run this, you might have an issue if you have not yet installed the Java runtime. So definitely install the Java runtime prior uh, to, to launching this, or you're going to get a bogus error that says that this file is damaged. This file is not damaged, it just needs to have access to the Java runtime. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double click on that. And what this does is it runs a little applet, it just sits in the background and waits for files. Okay, so we're back at our um, iPad here. We, we have a single log. Um, if we just uh, Tap on this, select options, a single log with just one entry, not very interesting, but options, select export, and we're brought to the export screen. 
make all your settings. I'm not going to go into any of the details of the settings here, but um, uh, just, just to peruse them, you've got the, the different photo options here. Um, if you have any attached files, you can turn that on to include them in your export as well. Tap on export. That's going to bring you to a screen which lists any devices connected to the Wi-Fi network. You might see printers here, you might see other devices, but the one you want to tap on is the one that's named Sync Docs. Tap on that, and then the files are sent. Now this is just a, a screen that allows you to mark this particular log as submitted, just a flag to you to, to indicate that it was submitted. We'll just say yes. Um, if we look over here, I'm going to go back into my Sync Docs folder. I'm going to open up a folder called Downloads, which is not to be confused with the main Downloads folder on the Mac or the PC. This is a separate Downloads folder that is at the same level as the Sync Docs applet. We open that up. We'll see a folder with our log name. Log name is February 2013. In this case, we're running Expense Tracker, February 2013. We open that up, and there's our report. If we had any images associated with this report, they would also be included. So that's the way you send files from iPad or iPhone to your Mac or PC using Sync Docs. Let's quit Sync Docs here. Let's go to the Preferences screen and see the other option. The other option, if we scroll down and look, look here, it's called Export Services, the preference you want to be uh, um, interested in here. Select Dropbox. Now in this case, I've already signed into Dropbox, um, but if you have not yet signed in, you only have to sign in once. Notice that these all three say uh, sign out, um, because I signed in once. Um, tap on this, you'll be brought to the Dropbox website, enter your username and password, and then we're, we'll then be given permission to access and save files into your Dropbox. We are never told your username or password, it's very secure. We're just given a special code that allows us to access your Dropbox. So um, I'm going to select Dropbox. I'm already signed out. I signed in. Save that. Let's go back into our report. And you notice our report is a different color because we've marked it as submitted, sort of a flag to ourselves that we've already submitted. But we, there's no, nothing that prevents us from creating another report. Hit export. Now you notice you see the blue Dropbox icon beside the export option. Select that. Make any setting changes you want, any filters, any date range filter. You can sort differently. You can change the format type. I'm not going to get into the different formats, but you definitely should take a look at our other videos um, regarding PDF reports. These are the most um, powerful reports av available. Um, and definitely something I strongly recommend. Tap the export button, wait a moment, and the files have, have been sent. Now I'm running on a Mac, so we're seeing the notifications here. This is a, um, an, an iPad simulator that I have running on a Mac, but everything works nicely. If I tap on the Dropbox icon, open the Dropbox, look in the Apps folder, Look in the expense tracker, um, open the expense tracker February 2013, and there is the, um, uh, the, the report that we, we've created. So that's um, it's very similar to the sync docs. If you open that up, open up downloads, and same thing. There's, the, there's the, uh, the file. So we've gotten our report moved over to our Mac two different ways, sync docs or Dropbox. Uh, like I said, Dropbox and Sync Docs does not have the limitation of files, file size. So if you, um, if you have 30, 40, whatever photo receipts associated with your log, use Export. And I'm recommending using Dropbox. Um, that's not a sales pitch for Dropbox, um, other than its inherent benefits. So um, take a look at that. I, hopefully this is uh, helpful. If you have any other questions, please visit our website, watch some of our other videos, or if you have a specific question, please email us at info at silverwaresoftware.com. Thank you very much.